Thank you for joining this presentation. And my name is Yaomi Park. I'm working for EMBA EBI. Today, I'm going to introduce the COVID-19 data portal. Since the coronavirus was first reported in China late last year, many scientists and researchers have been working hard to understand the virus and the finding treatments and vaccines. However, one of the biggest challenges they face is to share data and findings in a coordinated way. So European Commission and the EMBA EBI, together with the EU member states, and the research partners such as Alexia established the European COVID-19 data platform. It is aimed to allow the rapid collection and the comp comprehensive data sharing of available research data. The platform has three different components. First, SARS-CoV-2 Data Hub is a place where public health agencies other scientific groups can upload the viral sequence data. The federated European Genome Final Archives is providing secure controlled data sharing of sensitive patient research subject data sets relating to COVID-19. The COVID-19 data portal we bring together. Users can use the portal to upload access and analyze COVID-19 related data. Now I'm going to explain how the data comes to the portal. So EBMB, EBI hosts a vast amount of molecular data and other information such as literature, genes, genomes and variation, proteins and protein families, chemical biology, drug discovery, molecular archives and molecular atlas, molecular and cellular structure, molecular systems. The data collected through the European COVID-19 data platform are available through EMBA EBI data resources. The EBI search indexes those data resources and maintain the data indices up to date. The search engine provides the rest of web services, which can be used as a uniform way to access those data resources. The API is integrated into the COVID-19 data portal, so users always can see up-to-date data and they can perform searching. These are the data resources available now on the portal. As you see, we have viral and host sequences, gene and protein expression, proteins, biochemistry, literature. Also, we have other COVID-19 related resources. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to explore the data on the COVID-19 data portal. And this is the main URL. So if you land on the main page, your homepage of the COVID-19 portal, you can see the overview of the data, what kind of data available on the portal. And as I mentioned, we have a virus sequences, host sequences, expression, proteins, biochemistry, and literature. And those data classifications are available as a tab on the top. So if you need, whenever you need to jump from one to another, it can be easily done. I'm moving to one of the tabs, for example, viral sequences. The viral sequences page starts with a search box, which means the users can perform searching to find a specific term related data set. And below that, on the left, there is a list of buses and filters in the middle, you can see a list of data entries. Looking at the buses and filters, the first one is a list of data types. For example, viral, viral sequences has a sequences data, rules, sequenced samples, studies, genes, browser, and variants. And then below that, there is a list of buses, and the list of buses can be different depending on which data you are looking at. 
So viral sequences has a collection date faucet, country faucet, and the organisms and genes. If you want to apply one faucet, you can do like this. And now I'm seeing the data which, which came from China. If you want to apply multiple buses, you can do that. In the middle, each entry has a link to the original data resource website where you can find the full details about that entry. For further analysis, some users may want to download some data. To do that, you first select which entries you'd like to download and then click on the download button, we can see a list of formats. If I choose AMBO, I'm going to get the data in AMBO formats. We have a statistic page, so if you like to see the data statistic, you can jump to the page by clicking on the statistic button. On the right side, there is a link labeled powered by, which is pointing to the original data resource website or the COVID-19 dedicated page. And then other data pages also have similar structure. So for example, host sequences also start with the search box and the process filters and the data entries in the middle. And under the host sequences, you can see human studies and human and other host species read and the association studies. Under the expression, you can see gene expression and experiment, single cell expression and experiment, and protein expression experiments. And under the protein, you can see protein sequences, families, structures, and the electron microscopy density maps. And then biochemistry, we have pathways, interactions, complexes, compound document. Under the literature, you can see publications and preprints, which are organized in four different topics, such as coronaviruses, disease, and related viruses and disease, and genes, receptor and antibodies. And that's all about demonstrations. I'm moving back to presentation. Also, you can find other useful links from the portal. And as I mentioned, we have other COVID-19 related resources. And we provide FTP server where you can download the whole data set instead of downloading selected entries only. And there's a page where you can find how to sum your data and then the, our partners page will show you who is working together for the data portal as well as the platform. There are two email addresses to contact us. So if you have any questions regarding the European COVID-19 platform, you can contact us through ecovid19 at ebr.hdk. If you'd like to share your data on the portal, please contact us through virus-dataflow at ebr.sdk. Now we are looking for volunteers. So if you'd like to participate in our usability testing, please drop an email to ecovid19 at ebr.sdk. The COVID-19 data portal is developed and operated in the sponsorship of European Commission, USC Life, Alexia, and EMBA EBI. That's all about demonstration and presentation, and thank you for your listening.